Hi, my name is Nicole, and today my presentation is about public transportation and specifically the DART system in Dallas. Public transportation is important to provide equal opportunities for the working and lower middle class, as well as combating the current environmental crisis. Public transportation helps facilitate economic growth by creating easier access to new job opportunities, as well as the public transportation creating jobs itself. Easy access to public transportation in cities helps create a stronger and more connected community and equal opportunities for health care and entertainment. However, there are many issues of public transportation in cities, especially bigger cities like Dallas. The first main issue I found for my interviews was that public transportation is very limiting. For those who do not have any access to their own cars, it's super hard to easily travel from one location to another, especially when traveling out of Dallas and into cities nearby. The second issue I found was that public transportation is super unsafe for minors and women. According to the Dallas, or according to the United States Census, Dallas metropolitan areas, um, or like DFW population, is around 7.5 million. In the metropolitan area, there are about 4.1 million cars registered, keeping in mind that some families or people have more than one car registered for themselves. This is a huge number to keep up with when it comes to maintaining roadways and infrastructure. According to the U.S. insurance agents, Dallas is third in the U.S. for highest fatality rate. Increasing access to, the safe, to safe public transportation in Dallas will help reduce the number of fatalities because it will be an incentive for people to not drive their own cars because public transportation will be safer and people won't want or won't need to drive their cars. These are some news articles um, talking about the dangers of driving in Dallas. More sunshine means more road construction, potential for crashes, officials warn. To Dallas Fort Worth highways crash onto list of deadliest roads. Dallas has one of the best public transportation in the United States in terms of area it covers and mileage. However, like most public systems, there's a lot of improvement that can be done. There can be more expansion into the suburbs as well as making stops and rides safer. Uh, this is a map of Dallas and like the DFW area. Um, some major highways that I wanted to point out. Um, this one is I-35. Uh, this is Dallas North Tollway, and this is uh, I-75, 635. Uh, this is like the George Wish Turnpike, and then a bunch of connecting highways to Fort Worth and Dallas, and then just a bunch of like other highways. Uh, Dallas North Tollway, uh, 635, 121. I-35 or parts of I-35 and parts of 75, um, just to name a few, um, are considered toll highways. Uh, so you have to pay to use them and they like scan your car whenever you get on them and when you get off. Um, and so if you live in like this area to get to Dallas where most of the businesses are, um, to get there and back, it's about $10 a trip. This is the Dallas uh, total population density map or graph. Uh, the darker the reds, the higher the population density. Uh, you can see that it's really um, in like the Dallas area. Um, this circle represents the DART system, which runs inside here. And I would say that it covers a good amount of people, like a lot of people, but there's a lot of people out here that don't have access to public transportation. Um, which needs to be fixed. This is a close-up of the DART map. Um, it's very condensed in the downtown area. Some of the trains go out to a pretty far area, but they kind of stop at 121. Um, and these blue lines are like the bus routes and bus lanes. Um, still inside the circle is where the DART system runs. Um, outside, you can see that there's going to be also this is a map of the population growth projections from 2005 to 2040. Um, Frisco is up here, and this is already one of the fastest growing cities in the United States or in Texas. And there still is like no public transportation in this area. It ends like right over here. So anyone that and most people that are living in this area are middle class. There are some people who are low lower class or lower middle class 
And there are people that are upper middle class, but most people are just like middle class and they primarily work in these areas. So they're driving every day and most likely are having to drive on one of these three highways paying $10 a day to go to their job, not including gas, not including car insurance or um, car or like car payments. The closest station for these people would be over here. So they would still have to drive a portion to get to the Carrollton station to then take the bus or train into here, uh, which a lot of people think is a waste of time and money to have to pay for the highway for a portion of it to just go to a station to pay there to go to downtown. So a lot of people don't really like to do that, but there are a good amount of people that I do know that will go to this Carrollton station. So there should just be more public transportation in these areas. Uh, the total employment density map, the darker the red, the more employment opportunities. It's primarily in the Dallas business area in downtown. Uh, there's some in Addison and some in like the Plano Frisco area um, over here. This is where Toyota headquarters was just recently built, which has brought in a lot of people. Um, most of these people reside in this area, um, but anyone who wants to work there living inside this DART or inside where the DART runs and they don't have access to public transportation, they like really don't have a way to get over here to apply for those new opportunities. So I think that it should just be expanded more. Uh, since there has been an increase in population, Dallas has been building more highways, widening lanes, adding more exits and expanding the highways as much as they can. They're spending all this money on highways when they can just create more accessible public transportation. Dallas highway systems are inefficient and constantly are being worked on increasing the percentage of fatal crashes. Dallas needs to spend money on making their public transportation safer for minors and women, as well as making it more accessible. And as I mentioned, the Dallas, um, most of the highways are tollways, so you have to pay for them. So it's just super inefficient for people to be using these. Um, these are a few articles talking about widening or projects that are on the highway, uh, widening I-30 in Garland to improve traffic conditions, new freeway project, uh, we'll redo I-30 from downtown to the East Corridor. And then this one's talking about construction northbound of the Dallas North Tollway. And if we look at this map, this is where Dallas North Tollway ends and they're building it all the way up through Prosper. And Prosper, Providence Village, Salina, Pilot Point, all these cities that are past um, this road right here are primarily country and farm towns. Uh, most of the roads in this area are from farm to market towns. So adding this highway through here is going to cause even more development. Most of these towns now are being suburbanized and it's causing an increase in prices. Um, people moved out here for quiet, um, just like a country life, but still somewhat close to the city. Now they're being forced out even further than prosper so just this highway has its advantages but has a lot of disadvantages too um, interviews part one people were interviewed around dallas uh, bus stops and dart stops as well as people who live in far suburbs such as frisco um, i used to i use public transportation for concerts and going to the arboretum i normally would drive to the Carrollton station and take a dart from there um, but I've had some bad experiences on DART, so I try and avoid it. I wish it was easier to take the DART from where I live. I don't, it doesn't make sense to drive to station when I already am in my car. Uh, I use the bus to go to school and work when my friends can't take me. People were interviewed around various Dallas bus stops and DART stops. The question I asked was, why do you use public transportation when, and what would you change about it? Um, someone said I would use the bus to go to school and it's fine. Um, someone else said that they use a DART because they share a car with a family member and they wished it was faster. Um, the Dallas Magazine article 
um, The Woman's Guide to Surviving DART is an article following a woman's journey on the DART and like the bus systems. Um, in this picture, it was um, drawn by Phil Foster and it's in the article. Um, it's just depicting a man, a creepy man following a girl. And basically the news article follows this woman and what she goes through to use the DART system. So she mentions that men have followed her and she makes sure that she gets off of work at a specific time and leaves work at a specific time so that she can wait at the stop for like the least amount of time for the bus. So she doesn't have to interact with the people that are on the bus system. Uh, the article also mentions ways that you can um, have a safer ride, including, and they mentioned that women should be prepared to take, to get off of a different stop if someone's being weird and all these different hacks, which just seems like insane to me. There shouldn't be um, an article about surviving the DART. DART should do something and the public transportation should be safe for everybody. Uh, DART should implement more security and ways to keep users safe. Some ways this can be done is by adding the blue light buttons for people to use in emergencies. Um, I've seen a lot of these on college campuses and I don't know why they couldn't be um, implemented at bus stops and train stops. I'm sure some cities have them, but not Dallas. Having more security on stops that aren't as busy as others and having more security at night should be implemented. Um, being able to keep people safe will allow people to feel comfortable using public transportation. Um, also, it should just public transportation should have like security and police available because if you're it's like a public and or a public system, so that means that anybody can use it. And sometimes it's sad to say there are some scary people who do use public transportation, and our women and minors should be protected. DART should expand into cities like Frisco, the Colony, and Prosper. These are areas that are having high population growth and would benefit from having easier access to public transportation. Expanding to these areas would allow for people who are living in the inner cities of Dallas uh, to have better job opportunities, which um, can be found in like the Frisco Colony and Prosper area since a lot of major headquarters are moving and have moved to these areas like Toyota, Dallas Cowboys, and a bunch of tech startups have moved there. Um, I know that I had to travel into downtown Dallas at least once or twice a week, and making that commute during rush hour was over an hour long, not including when there was an accident or construction. So if there was public transportation access where I had lived in the suburbs of Dallas, I would have definitely used it rather than having to drive every other day into Dallas. Um, I know that I have class, classmates from high school who would agree with that statement. And I know that there's a lot of people that do carpool already from the suburbs into Dallas. And I know that if there was public transportation available, a lot of people would use it if they didn't have to drive 20 minutes out of their way to a shuttle station. Um, in conclusion, public transportation should be accessible to everyone. This means safe for all users and reaches as many places as possible. This is important to ensure equal opportunities, as well as it's really good for the environment, especially with the climate change, global warming, and environmental crisis that we are in. I wanted to say thank you for listening to my presentation. These are my citations for any images that I used that were not mine, as well as the graphs and some of the facts that I got. Thank you.